Activate hyperspace void immediately. Captain Global, attempting to use an untested Robotech device, inadvertently causes a disaster. He not only transports the huge battle forces, but also Macross City and its surroundings, all into deep space orbit near the planet Pluto. I don't know what happened exactly, but our first priority is to get the civilians on board the ship as soon as we can. Well, Captain, I can't seem to raise either the data or the on the Indian channel. Hmm. It doesn't look good. I see. That's bad. They're aircraft carriers. They weren't built for outer space. What a catastrophe! Uh, Commander Hayes, order a squadron of rescue vehicles to bring the carriers alongside the ship. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm surprised. Captain, is it more important that we link up with them than with Armor 1 or 2? Mm. I believe their onboard weapon should still be operating. I hope it works, Captain. It must be done quickly. That's for sure. All those lives lost and property destroyed. How could I have been so stupid? We will have to get those shelters on board and begin salvaging at once. Far beneath the bridge of the huge battle fortress, Rick Hunter and his new friend Minmay have crash-landed after escaping from the enemy aliens. Rick feels their only chance of survival depends on getting his fighter back into flying condition. <laughs> get that to move. Why don't we see if we can get some help by using the radio on your plane? Oh. Hmm. It seems like it would be the easiest thing to do. Oh, oh darn it. What's wrong? It's useless. The radio's broken. Oh. We'll have to try something else. Maybe this will help us get out of here. Hey, what have you got there? A gyro compass. Hmm. Oh, but I thought a compass had two arms that go back and forth. Huh? <laughs> well, the only compass I've ever seen was for drawing circles. I know. It's okay. With this kind of compass, we'll be able to make our way back to the plane if we get lost inside this big old ship and can't find our way out. I wonder what all these pipes are for. Maybe to cool some kind of energy unit. Oh. Ow! Huh? You okay? Oh, I'm all right. It was just a little hot. Well, now that was pretty dumb. Sorry. Hmm. Yeah. Ow! Uh, what was that again? I wonder what's in here. Oh no, this place is filled with scrap parts. I think it's a dead end. You mean we won't be able to get back? You can't go searching for your friend now, Roy. But I'm telling you, Rick is out there somewhere. I can't just abandon him, you know? Now listen, you can't just leave your post anytime you <clears> feel <throat> like it. Officer what Grant, if... let me talk to him. I'll patch you in on Channel 8, sir. Commander Fokker, Glovel, your request is denied. I'm sorry to hear about your friend, but we have over 70,000 civilian survivors on board this ship now, and we need all our officers on duty to ensure their safety. Aye, aye, Captain, huh? whatever you say. Huh? I'm sure that 70,000 civilians are a whole lot more important than my huh? friend. Ah. Over and out, sir. Hmm. Hothead. Where are we? I don't know. What is this place? It's huge. Huh? What? Look at the size of that door. Why don't we both climb up? Okay. Yeah! Maybe there's a doorway at the top that's open that leads to the uh, hallway. Thank you. That leads to the outside. Why, I could be home for dinner. Hey, this place is a giant airlock. It must be built for those huge aliens. I hope they don't come back. Hey, where are you? What's going on? What? <sighs> oh, Rick, look at that. What do you think happened? I don't know. Where did all that come from? Boy, what a lot of junk. It looks like a whole city blew up. Could all that be from our home? I'm not sure. How could it all get up here? Attention all crew members. The captain has commenced inspection. Over and out. Hey, you guys. The coffee's ready. Oh, huh? good. Oh. Mm, I could really use a cup. I can't believe what a mess we've got ourselves in. Hmm. The captain had to use that hyperspace fold. We've got over 70,000 survivors on board, and we've lost communication with Earth. If we were attacked huh? now, who knows hmm. how bad it would be. We should have standard communication systems working properly in just a little while. I know, but if we use that system, we run an awful risk. Those signals are easily traceable. We might give away our position. Oh! Commander Hayes, RX-24 Block Sector Command Post Leader wishes to speak with you. Coming. Oh, brother. Some coffee break. Well, we figured out this passage doesn't lead anywhere. How does your leg feel? Any better? My leg's a lot better, but I've been getting very thirsty. Thirsty, huh? 
I've got some emergency rations in my plane, but I haven't got any water. Ah! Ow! Of course, I'm so stupid. Why didn't I think of this sooner? You know, we're surrounded by water. Wait right here. What in the world are you talking about? Ta-da! I believe Madame requested some water. Refreshments coming up. Careful, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> It's harder than I thought. Let me help you. I think it's coming. Hey, hey, look, we got it. It's a geyser. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is wonderful! <laughs> well, I think I'm going to take a shower! Huh? Uh, uh, did, did you say a shower? Sure, I might as well take advantage of this while it lasts! Hmm... Uh... Rick? Uh, oh, oh, I guess I'd better go scout around a little, huh? Mm-hmm. Now don't look. I won't take very long. Oh, and could you push that piece of metal over here so I could use it as a shower curtain? Okay, I'll get it for you. Hold on a minute. Uh, there, is that good enough? Yes, thank you! Hmm. Ah! Yeah! Don't worry, Min May. I'm coming. What happened? Don't worry, I... Uh, I thought I saw something. Uh, just your imagination? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Well, oh, excuse me. Water feels great. Rick? Rick? If that's you, stop playing tricks. Rick, you answer me right now. Here. And what are those? I brought you some fresh clothes. It's an extra work suit that I found in my plane. Boy, that shower is just what I needed. I feel a whole lot better now. Thank you so much for the suit. You're welcome. Even though it is a bit big, the sleeves are much too long. <laughs> the creature without any hands. I brought some emergency rations. Here, this one's for you. Oh, thank you. Let's see if this stuff's any good. Um, yeah. yeah, not bad. Shouldn't we be careful how much we eat in case we have to make it last? I'm not worried. We'll be out of here soon. Yeah, but what if we're not? I used to be a junior nature scout. I'll get us out of here all right. Well, I bet you didn't get any merit badges for pathfinding, did you? Now stop worrying. I promise you I'll find a way to get out of here. Even though that was a badge I didn't get. I knew it. Hey, what's so funny? <laughs> I was sick the day they were testing. <laughs> At least I know what a compass looks like. I just can't believe the things that have happened to us. This whole mess seems incredible to me. Yesterday, I came to Macross Island to visit my friend and watch the launching, and today I'm right in the middle of an intergalactic war. I'm really worried about my family. Don't get upset. I'm sure they're safe in the shelters. Oh, I hope so. You know, there was a shelter right next door to our house. Well, there you go. I'm sure they're all fine. <gasps> yeah, I suppose. Huh? Uh... Are, are you going to sleep? Wake up! You can't sleep like this. You'll get a stiff neck. Huh? Uh, um, uh... Hmm, maybe I'd better move away. You stay here and I'll sleep over hey, there. Hey, it was a mouse! Mm-hmm. Ah! There's a mouse! You don't say. I seem to recall mentioning something about a mouse, but you didn't believe me. I'm really sorry, Rick. From now on, I promise I'll listen to you. In that case, fair lady, I'll protect you <gasps> from those vicious creatures. Oh, thank you. I think we'll be okay for tonight. They're mm. probably just running scared. So if you want to sleep, well, I'll be darned. It didn't take her very long, did it? Wish I could sleep like that. <sighs> As Min May sleeps, Rick wonders how soon it will be before their rescue. He has no idea of the ordeal that awaits them or how close they both will come to death. Stay where you are! Robotech will be right back! Return to Robotech now!
Hmm, let's see. Yesterday was Thursday. Now Friday. Huh? Hmm. Hey! What are you doing? I'm keeping a record of how many days we've been stranded here. This piece of metal works hmm. really well. You want to help? No, uh, thanks. That's fine. I've got to get back to my work. See ya. That was a brand new paint job. Ah! Uh, some help she is. Well, I don't suppose much else can go wrong today. Great! Wow. Mm -mm. By making stew, we can make our supplies last longer. Right, I forgot. You're in the restaurant business. No, that was my Aunt Lena's restaurant. Actually, I want to be an entertainer. Huh. You planning to be an actress? Well, I study acting, singing, and dancing. Here. Thanks. That doesn't exactly prepare you for something like this, huh? Five days have now gone by, and Rick begins to worry they may never find their way out. He makes constant drawings of his surroundings and studies them carefully, but the awesome size of the ship, with its endless corridors and compartments, has him completely baffled. He worries about Minmay and knows that despite her efforts, their food supply is beginning to run dangerously low. Can you believe they're rebuilding the city inside the ship? It's amazing. You can leave the tray right there, Stuart, and thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Mm, that looks good. So he orders me to go out there and get him, and I say, Sir, don't get me wrong, I'm brave, but I'm not crazy. There you are. Oh, what's the latest information on the survivors? Oh, we finally have them divided by city blocks. They're starting to rebuild their neighborhoods. Really? That's incredible. While the survivors begin to rebuild their shattered city, Rick and Minmay are still marooned deep within the ship. Try as he might, Rick can't seem to find a way out. No luck, huh? Why don't you rest? I just don't know what else to do. This ship is like a big, confusing prison. Yeah, a big prison floating somewhere in space. Hmm? That's it, of course. We're in space. What about it? That's our way out of here. We'll leave through an airlock down here and get in from one above. We can't do that. We don't have any spacesuits. My flight helmet will protect me. I could float out, get some help, come back down here for you. It's a simple plan. Yes, but... Uh... Don't worry, it'll be easy. Now, I'm gonna need your help, so I'll show you how to use the airlock controls, okay? They're real easy. A kid could run them. All right, now, do you understand everything? Mm-hmm. Without oxygen tanks, though, Rick, then how are you going to breathe? I'll just have to hold my breath for a little while. Then won't you suffocate? I'm telling you, it'll be just like diving in the ocean. Wait a minute! I'm having second thoughts! Where are we going? I want to use an airlock near one of the big windows so that we can stay in close contact. <gasps> Min May, what is it now? You've got to stop this constant worry. Look at that! I've never seen anything like it. What kind is Looks it? Looks like a tuna, but it's huge. That sure is a big tuna fish. Real big. Mm. Tuna! Yeah! Yay! Hey! I wonder if there's any way I could snag it while I was out there. Sure, sure it'd be, be nice. nice. Tuna, tuna fish! fish. <gasps> I got the tuna back in. Some of it, anyway. Why are you sitting there with such a sad look on your face, Rick? You caught a fish in outer space. You were wonderful out there. Thanks, but that little fishing trip ruined our chance to escape. My suit got ripped when our dinner fell on me as I was trying to get it back in through the airlock. Now that I can't go out with this suit, I don't know what we're gonna do. 
Maybe we can cut a hole in the roof and then climb right up. I've already thought about that. I took some tools and climbed up there yesterday, but the ceiling's too thick. I just couldn't get through. What about an explosion? Huh. What would we explode? We've used up nearly all our rocket fuel. How much? Look. That's all we have left. Oh. Twelve days come and go. Twelve endless days. And so I practiced real hard and came back to win the amateur flying competition eight times in a row, even though I was flying an old clunker. Rick, do you think I'll ever get to fly with you again? Oh, sure. Once we get rescued, I'll take you up all the time. Sometimes I dream of falling in love. You've got a beautiful voice. Ah, uh, thank you, Rick. If I could do one thing with my life, I want to sing. It's always made me feel so good. I've taken lessons ever since I was four years old. It's always been planes for me. All I ever wanted to do was fly. I know how you feel, Rick. Sometimes you can't be happy unless you do what you dream about. So are you sure that being an entertainer is what you want from life? Yes. I guess. But I really want to be a bride. Uh, you mean married? Well, I guess you'll probably make somebody a wonderful wife. Thank you, Rick. But now I'll never have the chance. Don't you even think that. You can't give up. I know we're going to get out of here somehow. It's been 12 days, and I'm sure they must have given up searching for us by this time. We'll never get out of here. Huh? huh? Oh, it's those mice again. I'll get them this time. Rick, be careful. Oh. Get out of here! There. Hm. We're never going to make it out alive. We're going to be here forever. We've huh? been here too long. They'll have forgotten about us by now. Min May, I don't want to hear that kind of talk. It's true. We've just got to face it. We'll live our entire lives here in this ship. I'll never know what it's like to walk down the aisle as a bride. Min May. What? You will. I'll help you. How are you going to do that? <laughs> well, uh, we could do it right here. We could pretend. Okay. Then you really mean it? Then let me borrow your scarf. This might be the only veil I ever get to wear in my life. <laughs> what do you think? Ah, Minme, you look beautiful. I, uh, well, I guess I should be the groom, huh? Okay. Uh... Is this what we do next? Oh, Rick, why doesn't someone come and find us? I've got to get home! Uh, but you will, I promised you. I'm just so scared. I know, so am I. Come on, I'm telling you we're gonna get out of here. There's got to be a way. We can't give up. We've got to keep trying. I've never been a quitter, and you shouldn't be one either. Stop it. That's all just silly talk. You know what's really going to happen. We're never going to get out of here. There's no chance! <laughs> Minmei, it's not silly talk. I really mean it. We can get out of here if we don't give up. You mustn't give up. I'm doing my best. I'm sorry. No, Rick. I'm the one that should apologize. It's just... well... <laughs> Come on, it'll be all right. Rick, I've been so stupid. <laughs> That's not true. Kiss me, Rick. If you want. <gasps> huh? Hey, what was that? An enemy missile? It looks to me like it might have been a bomb. Look, there's somebody down there. It's a couple of kids. Are you guys okay? Why, that looks like Minmay down there. It's the mayor. We've been saved. Hold on now. Here we go. Hold on. Uh, have you up here? <laughs> <laughs> Are we dreaming or something? What in the world is huh? going on here? I can't believe it. The whole city's but, here. Oh, Rick, look. 
The restaurant and Aunt Lena's house are right here. Hooray! As you can see, my boy, the entire city's been moved intact. It's quite an achievement. You've got to tell us how you and Min May got trapped way down there. Did you know you've been missing for almost two weeks? I'm Min May's uh, uncle, young man, and I thank you for the protection you provided our baby girl. Oh, uh, don't mention it. You're welcome. Oh, oh it was my so down there. You should have seen Attention. it. Attention. Message from the bridge. The disturbance in Sector 7X was caused by a construction accident. There were no injuries. The damage will be cleared up very shortly. We repeat, the disturbance is over. Please return to neutral status. And the mice! Oh! <laughs> bad dream. <laughs> well, my boy, you must be one happy fellow. Right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, son, what's wrong? Get up! He's exhausted. We've got to get him to a doctor right away. Rick was exhausted from his ordeal and shocked at seeing the city on board the ship. And he was confused by Min May's attitude towards him. She seemed so distant now. Below, things had been very different. Rick will be forced to make many adjustments in the months ahead, as will all the residents of the transplanted city. Their safe existence back on Earth will be long forgotten as they face an enemy determined to capture their vessel. In our next episode of Robotech, the citizens of Macross Island attempt to normalize their life aboard the giant battle fortress. Human drama is played out against the backdrop of interplanetary war as the Zentradi forces follow after the SDF-1 and continue the war begun back on Earth. Captain Global must make a life or death decision which will determine the fate of nearly 70,000 refugees. Stay tuned next time for Transformation.